Okay, so I know I upload about three videos today, but this is a review that I just need to get out right now because I'm late to the party on this film. Uh, the King of Satin Island. Here's the reason why. Um, this was a film that was, of course, going to go to theaters. Did not, and it was a digital release. Um, and I was like, no, thank you, because it's not a big movie. It's a comedy, and it came out to Blu-ray, and I just kind of had other things I was looking at picking up before this, but I finally sat down to pick it up. I heard um, some pretty decent things about this movie. Uh, this is a Judd Apatow film. Now, if you don't know Judd Apatow, he's a very famous comedy director. And um, if you like Judd Apatow films, you'll like this movie. If you don't, see ya. This movie ain't for you. Now, Judd Apatow movies um, can be hit or miss. Um, they're pretty... Mixed, uh, most, all of them are too long, and that includes this one. This one, I really felt it, because it just, just dragged a little too much. It's just like, if you'd just been a little bit shorter, it would have been a lot better. And I, I, it's also, like, interesting, because on here, there's, like, alternative endings and stuff. Do I need an alternative ending for movies that are, for a movie that's already too long? You know? What this movie is about is... Just this guy who's, um, you know, trying to figure out a spot in life. That's basically it. And it's kind of a slice of life type of comedy with some exaggerated things about it. Uh, with him trying to kind of figure out what he's going to do with his life in his, like, early 20s. Now, if you if that sounds like something you would relate to, you will. Um, not, it's obviously not something everyone will relate to, and that's kind of what this film depends on how much you relate to it. Uh, this film is decently funny. You know, uh, it's it's got a good sense of humor to it. It's direct about the same as uh, most Judd Apatow films. So, you know, better than most average comedy. It's because most average comedies are not directed well, let's be real. Uh, most average comedies are directed um, very standardly shot, very standardly edited, because... They want you to, what those films rely on, not every comedy, just the majority of um, them, want you, they rely on the actors' performances and being funny to carry the film. That's why we have a lot of improv movies now and things like that. And so, you know, it's directed better than that, which I appreciate because uh, that's great. There's also, this Blu-ray is actually pretty cool because it's got a feature commentary with director and co-writer Jed Apatow and actor, writer, Pete Davidson. So if that interested you, I, I don't know. I recommend the Blu-ray. It's a good pickup. Uh, it's unfortunate that this film did not make it to theaters. I think, honestly, instead of a digital release, we should have dropped this on um, Amazon Prime. It would have been a bigger hit. More people would have been able to watch this film. And... Um, yeah, I, I don't know why that didn't happen. It it kind of felt like a film that I would watch on Amazon Prime. And yet, it's not on Amazon Prime. Which, kind of weird. It's not terrible that it didn't go there. I just feel like it would have worked out better. Um, but basically, if it sounds like something you would relate to, if it sounds like something you'd be into, check it out. If you like Judd Apatow films, you'll like it. Check it out. I'm kind of mixed on the guy. I like some of his movies. I don't like others. But I think that overall, this was a decent movie. It kind of gave me the feels. It made me laugh. Uh, more than a few times. It wasn't great, though, because of the pacing. And that's the problem with Jabba Apatow films. He's great at what he does, but he just does what he does a little too long. And it's always like, Shorten it down a, a little bit, please. Please? I don't know, but yeah. Pretty decent movie. Um, 
you know, again, I apologize for being late to the party. You probably have heard a lot of people talk about it. There are plenty of reviews up of this on YouTube. So, you know, I appreciate you guys coming to me because this is a movie that's been out for a while. 